Today, Colleen ISD announcing it's working to reopen its doors. This is after the district extended its spring break by a week due to fears of COVID-19. Fox 44, Shaquille Amari, he's live in the studio. Shaquille, it's pretty optimistic compared to other school districts. That's right, Adam. The district says they're working to reopen doors on Monday. And if they do reopen, parents are not obligated to send students if they are not comfortable. However, the board says this could all change by next week. As some colleges and local schools move to online classes, Colleen ISD remains focused on reopening its doors. We are planning to try to open and resume school Monday, March 23rd, this coming Monday. The district says school won't be mandatory. Uh, we will not be pursuing truancy. Uh, we will be taking attendance. All while sending parents a message. I am personally asking parents to, to relax. I'm beginning to wonder if the virus is our problem or if the panic that's being created is our problem. Do it first, okay? Jennifer Walker says her children's immune system are not strong. My daughter from um, getting the flu A and being hospitalized in January, and then my son has asthma. Which makes her unsure about sending them to school. Son doesn't go to school yet, but if she goes to school and brings it home, of course, that could affect him. If reopened, the district plans to take precautions. Uh, we're looking at different options uh, to limit uh, uh, the socialization periods, i.e. Uh, large lunches. However, some say this won't work. There's no way that you can keep your kids six feet away from somebody if you send them back to school. The kids are kids. They want to hang out with their friends. They haven't seen them in two weeks. They want to hug. They want to, you know, hold hands and skip down and in, back into class. And the district says if doors do not reopen on Monday, they will consider online classes or blended, blended learning. In the studio, Shaquille Omari, Fox 44 News.